Hi, and welcome to Bobcat Update. I'm Montserrat Luna. If you're looking to come to the river this summer, there's one more step you have to take before coming to float. Later, I'll talk to you about San Marcos's newest can ban. Speaking of shining stars, we want to leave you with a look at the historic total eclipse that passed over central Texas this month. This is how it looked in Kerrville, Texas, about 90 miles west of San Marcos. People in parts of Mexico and in 13 U.S. states had a chance to see a total eclipse, including right here. There were crowds at the outlet malls, here on campus, and at spots all over the state. It hit totality right around 1.30 on Monday, April 8th. In this next story, I teamed up with Peyton Christofferson to embark on a new adventure to make some new furry friends. Here's what we learned about the San Marcos Animal Shelter's Dog's Day Out. A new ordinance is making its way into San Marcos this summer, and it's taking effect May 1st. On February 20th, the San Marcos City Council approved the Kanban Ordinance, which prohibits single-use containers like bottles, cans, juice boxes, and more. The ban was encouraged heavily, especially due to the number of visitors San Marcos gets during the summer. Virginia Parker is the executive director of the San Marcos River Foundation and has been an advocate for this ban. So I think after last summer, things were just so out of control that it motivated everyone to come together and think about clever ways that we could manage the trash in, in the city parks. And so we've had private conversations for a long time. The ordinance bans single-use containers from public waterways and riverfront parks in San Marcos. This will include high traffic areas such as Rio Vista, Sewell Park, and City Park, and can lead up to a $500 fine if caught violating the ordinance. So this summer will be primarily an educational push. The ordinance will be in effect. And so we, we have faith in people. We know that once they see the sign, and they're alerted to the ordinance that most people will want to comply. City council members are hoping that this ban will lead to a cleaner environment for the San Marcos River. However, there are many mixed feelings in the community due to this ban. Tyler Hartwick, Texas State student, elaborates on how this ordinance will lead to positive change. I think the single-use container ban in particular will really help with the amount of pollution, the amount of trash pollution. I can't tell you how many cans, how many vapes, how many iPhones, how many full buzz balls, how many pieces of jewelry, shirts, pants. Keeping it out of the water will really help aquatic vegetation, also water quality in general, you know. The less pollutants we have in the water, the more the soil can regenerate in the water and aquatic vegetation can thrive, which means other species can thrive and other fish can thrive. So if you're planning on coming to the river this summer, add one more thing to your to-do list to make sure our rivers stay clean. I'm Montserrat Luna, signing off. When we don't have representation as humans, we become depressed, we feel isolated, we feel alone. The a pressing issue has been going around Texas regarding what kids in public schools have access to, and the discussion of gender identity and fluidity in books is one of them. One school district that has been in the spotlight of it all has been Keller Independent School District in Keller, Texas, after a controversial 4-3 vote to remove books from school libraries that adopt, promote, or support gender fluidity. More than 70 members of the community spoke on this issue, many with different opinions. But let them be kids. Just love them and, and let them be who they are. They're not hurting anybody. They're not a threat to anyone. Personal conversations about gender belong in the home, period. The great cities of Keller and Fort Worth are home to many excellent free public libraries where parents can find all the gender fluid resources they desire for their children. Was that eliminated to avoid? This decision follows after the same school district made headlines after their book ban in August, banning books like The Bible, a graphic novel depicting Anne Frank's life, and Gender Queer, a memoir. I'm Montserrat Luna, back to the Bulletin.